have you ever imagined as to what will happen if you keep a fish out of water or a camel in snowbound areas they will not survive they have developed features which help them to live or adapt in their respective surroundings that is water and desert by adaptation we mean the presence of features or certain habits which help an organism to live in a particular habitat or environment different living organisms adapt to live in the surroundings in different ways adaptations involve a combination of features such as shape size color structure and behavior deserts have acute shortage of water and a very hot and dry climate they have a short rainy season followed by a long dry season living in such hot conditions needs adapting to these situations a camel is an animal well adapted to live in a desert it has long legs which help to keep the upper part of the body away from the heat of the sand on the ground after drinking water once it can live for many days without water a camel excretes a small amount of urine and its dung is dry a camel does not sweat its feet have thick pads which protect it from the hot desert sand a camel has long eyelashes which do not allow flying sand to reach its eyes during a sandstorm a camel can close its nostrils so that the sand does not enter the respiratory system during a sandstorm fat stored in its hump acts as a food reservoir but what happens to desert snakes rats lizards and insects which do not have all the features that are present in a camel these desert animals stay in burrows deep inside the sand to keep away from the intense heat during the day they come out only during the night when it is cooler Like animals, desert plants are also adapted to stay in such extreme climate. In desert plants, leaves are either absent, small, or reduced to spines. Stem is spongy and store water. Stems are covered with a thick waxy layer which helps in retaining water inside the plant body. The stem is green and it prepares food for the plant. The root system goes deep down into the soil for absorbing water. A very common desert plant is cactus. In a cactus, leaves are reduced to spines. The stem is green and spongy. Roots are long and reach the deep layers of the soil. Mountains have a cold, windy and a rainy weather. The ground in the upper reaches are usually covered with snow. These conditions make life very hard for both plants and animals. Most mountain plants grow close to the ground to avoid getting uprooted by strong and frequent winds. The mountain trees are normally cone-shaped with sloping branches so that the snow and the water does not stay on them and ruin them. Leaves are usually needle-shaped which reduces evaporation rate especially in winters. They also have long roots for fixing themselves tightly on slopes. 
animals living in cold mountains are also well adapted to live in such harsh climates. A yak has a thick coat of fur which protects it from the cold. Mountain goats have strong hooves to climb up the mountains easily and a thick fur to protect it from the goal. The snow leopard is white in color and has long hairs to protect it from the harsh and biting cold. A polar bear lives in snow covered areas. It has thick white fur to merge with its surroundings and to protect it from the intense cold, thickly padded feet to walk on the snow and the body has a thick layer of fat which keeps it warm and provides it with energy during the winter months when food is scarce. Polar foxes are also found in the snow covered arctic areas. They have deep, thick fur which is brown in summer and white in winters in order to merge with its surroundings. Its paws are also covered with furs. So children, try to find out how you adapt to your surroundings in school, at home or in the marketplace and see what happens when you click on the links provided on the screen. Thank you.